So it's your girl April and today's video of course is another Ally Express affordable hair vendor video. So this one here, I'm really not familiar with this vendor. Um, it's called Long Key Hair and I think that's how you pronounce it. If not, I do apologize. I'll post their information below. Um, During our process of communication, very nice people, I will tell you this, I did receive four bundles of their Malaysian Body Wave along with the closure. So I have two 24 inches, two 22s and a 16 inch closure. Hmm. So so, the first thing's first, it doesn't have a smell, it just smells like hair that's from Ally Express. I really can't explain that, but this, this smell is very, very familiar. Now, as for the hair, it's super soft. I'm not really sure if it's virgin like it says, but we shall see because I am going to do a little testing to this or add some color to it. Now, as for the bearding on it, it's super neat. They do have like some pink ribbon paper around it, but what they should have done is put their name instead of putting 100% unprocessed human hair that's what they should have done it should have put their name on it somewhere but the very the bra the bearding is very neat so you don't see like a whole bunch of little short hairs that's really impressive it's not all thin and shabby at the ends which i do like because i get really really picky when it comes to that now as for the rest of the hair meaning is it short there are like a little bit of short hairs up here that i'm noticing nothing major like it's not a lot of it but we'll see how it holds up and how the volume and density of the unit is once I make it but the hair is really extraordinary soft and it doesn't really have a smell it's a natural color so the one thing that I'm really really concerned about is the closures from any vendor it doesn't have to be from this particular vendor but from a vendor in general if you girls know I love the closures that have the reinforced sides because I just like for my closure to lay fat flat and also like for it to be durable and stand the test of time. Not to mention the knots as well. So this is the closure and it's a light brown. It's just a normal closure, 4x4, four four, really soft. Um, hmm. I will say this, it has like this really soft, weird feeling, meaning maybe they did something to it. I don't know. Once I wash it, we'll see. But it's just like unbelievably soft kind of like hmm but we shall see so I'm, I'm as I'm looking through the knots or through the closure I do see like a couple of knots that can be tweezed and they're more or less up here this is where I'm seeing them from and that might be where they put most of the density but I like to put my closures up to the light and that way you can see if there's any kind of swollen knots or any knots that need to be tweezed. So what I was talking about when I said that it's just like a really weird soft, it's just like this really weird feeling. But the closure is very neatly made so that is a plus. I'm just kind of like concerned about this weird feeling. Maybe there's some type of product on it and it's giving that feeling but we'll see so as for the ends of this actual closure they're decent um i'm just trying to see the hair is not even of course you know what i mean so like you do see some short hairs up here nothing like major um and it doesn't get thinner at the bottom of course it gets thinner but it doesn't get shabby thin so that's a plus and we shall see so like i This one was easy to do. I did tweeze some extra space in the part or the closure because as always I do like the most natural looking part. And I didn't do anything special to the hair. I did put it on a right sided part this time. I did cut some layers in it in the front just to frame my face. But other than that I left it as is and I did sew combs in it as normal because I like to make sure that my wig is not going nowhere. But I did also add some concealer, a lighter color concealer to it and that way once I am ready to put it on I'll add a more closer complexion match concealer to my own scalp. So with this unit, like I said, it was really easy. I let it air dry. It is a body wave and I just took my flat iron and put like some really loose curls in it because I needed something different. You know, I didn't want to do the wand curls this time because I've done those enough. So I just said something a little bit more relaxed but yet still sultry and sexy. Um, and as well, it did shed a little bit. Nothing major like to be expected. Thank God. Um, because I've had my issues with certain vendors as well as the closure is still intact. I do sew it down on the inside as well as the outside just to make sure that it's more durable. 
and that's about it it is in its natural color state very pretty hair and soft did not dry out didn't give me any problem at all so as normal we're going to go ahead and do this video So I will say this about the hair, it is kind of, kind of, I said kind of, kind of thin for me, like when I use four bundles, it's a little bit thicker, so the hair shafts could be thicker, that's just my opinion. Um, it may have to do a lot with the way I curled it. I have not worn my hair like this in so long since I do the wand curls all the time. It just gives it that volume, but I do think that just from past experience of other wigs that I've worn with four bundles, it was a lot more hair. So I would say that the hair is a little bit on the thin side. The bundles, like the ends are not thin, but I just think like the hair shafts should be just a little bit thicker to my taste. That's to my liking. But it is Malaysian hair, which doesn't really make a difference if it's Malaysian Brazilian. I'd just rather it be a little bit more thicker, as in hair-wise. But it is super soft. Unfortunately, I didn't have my favorite hairspray, which is Aussie, so I was stuck using sexy hair. Um, this really doesn't do it for me, like Aussie, so I will be going out and getting some I've been saying that forever but I've been just using a pump bottle that I had so I've been getting by but now that I don't have any left I'm like really doomed but yeah so the curls did drop a little bit because I didn't pin them up I just flat ironed them in with the flat iron and just let them fall I really didn't want it to be too strong of a curl pattern I really wanted it to be more or less relaxed relaxed curls but yeah other than that very natural looking part though i need to shift it over a little bit there we go and that's why i say i like the combs because when you put the combs in like like i should have did then your wig will not move and if you're wondering what i used in my hair to thicken it up and make it look like it was actual hair this is the strand maximizer i swear by this stuff it's just like the topic that i've been using but their fibers are a little bit thicker so you get um more full coverage with less product if you don't have this and you have the topic you can to continue to use it you just you know what i'm saying it's the same thing it's just that this nozzle or these fibers are a little bit thicker and you get a little bit more for your money the nozzle is sold separately so keep that in mind and i do think these are really beneficial when having these type of strand fat um strand hair filler fibers um you do pump on the top of it it's just like little tiny hairs but 
when you don't want a lot, it's best to just pump really lightly, just kind of tap it, and the fibers will come out. You may not think they will, but they actually will. As you can see right here, I'm pumping lightly, and it's filling in my hair. And the more you want, the more harder you'll pump, but... If it's in the front area and you don't need a lot of coverage, like you need like little spots, then I would highly suggest pumping very lightly. But there are different brands of this stuff out, like Topic. Topic is one of the most popular ones because they started out, but then there are a lot of other ones. But like I said, Topic is the same thing. The fibers aren't as thick, but it still works because I've been using Topic for like a year and I absolutely love it. But since using this, I get fuller coverage with less product. So that's the reason why I like it. So, but other than that, I will post their information to their Ally Express store for you girls below. The hair is reputable hair. I just wish her, um, because for four bundles, it doesn't seem like a lot of hair to me. And like I said, it may have to do with the way I have it curled. But I know I used to wear my hair like this all the time and I felt like it was a lot more denser. So yes, you can check all the information out below. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up. And if you have any questions, you can always send me an email. If you want a wig made, you can always always check my website which is gone with the wind wigs that webly.com and as always stay diva and delicious and i'll see you girls and guys on my next video